caption close photo at Bailey Margot 22 photo at Bailey Margot 22 photo at Jamata 7 photo at Jamata 7 pop quiz why do you think former Tricentennial Commission CEO Edward Benavides chose Pat Benatar and Rio Speedwagon to headline San Antonio's 300th birthday kickoff? A. He wanted two acts that were relevant when San Antonio was founded. B. Keith Emerson, Jerry Garcia, Doug Sam, and David Bowie were booked. C. He thought this was the practice run for the next time San Antonio celebrates its 300th birthday. D. Because those are the acts KSAT TV wanted. E. What people don't know is his original preference was the band, Air Supply. The answer is, I have no idea. Related, Tricentennial helps San Antonio to be named a place you need to visit in 2018 by National Geographic. But it's amazing this somehow slipped through the cracks. Amazing that Benavides thought these were exciting acts to ring in any new year let alone the Tricentennial. Amazing that no one with the city of San Antonio or the Tricentennial Commission wrestled him to the ground before he inked these deals and then had to ask for changes. This is one of those instances where bad taste should have been a fireable offense. Instead, everyone kept on singing, keep on loving you until bad news broke. Benavides has since resigned as head of the nonprofit Tricentennial Commission, but is still employed with the city, amid swirling controversy, lackluster fundraising, even worse messaging and a boneheaded media partnership. It was time for him to fly. Now with 2018 less than a month away, the big hope is Benavides' greatest sin is his taste in music. Assistant city manager Carlos Contreras has taken the tricentennial reins and says he doesn't see any glaring problems, only stumbles and decisions he would have handled differently there will be a financial audit and a legal review of contracts. The SA300 website is under reconstruction and a marketing campaign will soon launch. Mayor Ron Nirenberg, who inherited this mess, but will likely get blamed for any problems, is busy shaking the money tree. Read more, what's the next step for San Antonio's tricentennial? Most everyone wants to roll with the changes and focus on making sure the tricentennial is worthy of San Antonio's rich and layered history. Easier said than done, friends. District 6 City Councilman Greg Brockhouse just can't fight the feeling Benavides' choice in headline acts symbolizes larger problems. It's hard to blame the Brock. The Tricentennial Commission's selection of KSAT-TV as an exclusive English-language media partner is going to dog the event all year. Much of the coverage around this partnership has focused on the favoritism showered on KSAT, the station and the Tricentennial Commission paid staff were in talks for months before a formal request for proposals was put forward. That RFP only happened after WOAI-TV complained to city manager Cheryl Scully. Not surprisingly, KSAT won. And, oh by the way, Benavides' brother is a producer with KSAT. All this drama for something that makes as much sense as some of Benatar's lyrics, We belong to the light, we belong to the thunder. The tricentennial would have received coverage for many of these events anyway, but with a variety of broadcasters, not just one.